The best word that I can give you to describe Kate is fun. Look at my guy. <laughs> She's always had a passion uh, for, for kids and a passion for adoption, you know, and I would, I would dare say that it even goes beyond a passion to being a burden that God has placed on her heart to, to make a difference in the lives of uh, who I would say probably are society, some of society's most vulnerable kids. She was trying to adopt some kids, and, and then being a single mom, it was harder, a little bit more difficult to go through the adoption process, and so rather than waiting for all of that to manifest, she just started fostering children. And then she found uh, four siblings that she ended up fostering for, man, it was probably at least a couple of years until it turned into an adoption. And then they had another younger sibling that Kate didn't want the kids to be separated. So she ended up finally adopting that fifth sibling as well. And so at any given time, Kate's got at least five kids and uh, upwards of eight or nine, doing this all as a single mom. She tries to take the children who are coming through the health and welfare system, and, and before they get transitioned into a permanent living place, right, if they didn't have a place, health and welfare is scrambling to find a place to house these children. And obviously when you take some, some a child out of that environment under whatever circumstances, there's shock, there's, you know, I mean, there's all of these different things that could take place. And so Kate wanted to provide a loving atmosphere for these kids as they transition. And, and what I love about it is the kids feel that they have a nice place to go, the, the home that she's working on. I mean, it's a it's a home that any kid would love to actually grow up in, not just a bed and not just a room, but it's an environment. It's an atmosphere where these kids know that they are uh, truly loved unconditionally. I mean, love does a, it, it, it will carry you a long way as far as how these kids grow up without self-esteem issues, without self-worth issues. And so I really believe that that's the heart behind her you know, behind the ministry. She's like, I just want to provide a place for these kids and I just want to love on them. And as adults, we couldn't fathom some of the things that these children have, have, to, have to deal with, some of the things that they are actually going through, right? And so it's almost like out of sight, out of mind. If you don't really know what's going on in the foster care system, you don't know the need that's there. I would just encourage anybody, hey, if you have a heart for, you know, foster care children, if you have a heart for children in general and you want to see them grow up in a, in a, in a good atmosphere, a good environment so that they become productive citizens, you know, um, get involved with Fostering Heart. It's called Inspire excellence, right? And just her, her ministry and her heart and her love for, for children, it really does inspire us to be excellent. And so when it's like, hey, let me help you, you know, bring this thing to fruition. And so that's why I nominated her for the Inspired Excellence Award.